Hello, Gregory. I am late, but I'm here. So your question was, why don't humans have tails? Now this is a very difficult question to answer because really people don't know. So I decided to kind of take an evolutionary point of view and try to discover the answer myself using some information that I could find. So let's start out going way back in time to about the middle Miocene epoch. Um, we had ancestors with no tails. This could have happened for many different reasons. Plus, it could be that mm, our ancestors farther back didn't have tails. But this is where I'm going to start because this is basically where we said our evolution starts. So during this period, there was a seasonal shift. So there were more varied seasons north of the equator. This means that we're hanging out in very loose forests and grassland type areas. So we weren't hanging out in trees as much. Huh, <laughs> hanging in trees. This kind of helped us or allowed us to evolve a different form of transportation of bipedalism. So we could walk on two legs instead of, you know, on all fours or swinging through trees. So looking at monkeys instead of apes, they use their tails to hang there and collect fruit and leaves and all that good stuff. Now there are some apes and some other creatures that evolved to hang out in trees without tails too, but their muscle structure is completely different. Since we weren't hanging out with trees, we were using different muscle groups and we didn't have to be as strong either as with a tail or in upper body strength so we could develop our brains because that takes a lot of energy. Now some children are born with tails. Tails? They're not really tails because the vertebrae, the vertebrae structure does not match what actual uh, tails in nature ha uh, are. It doesn't match with animals that actually have tails, so it's not quite the same. So this is a very difficult question to answer, but looking at the evolution, we can see why we don't have tails today. We just don't need them, basically. My video's short this week, but I think that's because there's not as much research on this, and I kind of had to do a lot of guesswork, but it's time for my question for you. I've been thinking about television a lot lately, and we always hear about the negative effects of television or the, the things that just make it seem like it's lazy to watch television. But I was wondering, are there benefits to watching television? Many forms of entertainment throughout history have been seen as bad for you. For example, reading used to be bad for you and uh, playing chess used to be seen as a lazy game to play. But now we think of it more as an intelligent game that people play. So what are the benefits of television watching? Well, Greg, I'll see you later. <laughs>